research fellow at the Computational and Psycholinguistics and Computational Neuroscience in Reading. And it's my honor to say a couple of words about uh, what he's working on. Uh, Peter van Graben, um, our committee thinks, is a very promising uh, a neuroscientist who takes very seriously the challenges of interdisciplinary work as is required at the interface that Reinhardt also mentions of physics, psychology, linguistics, and philosophy. Originally, he's trained um, as a physicist. Uh, Peter van Graben has put emphasis on formal modeling within contemporary physical and mathematical frameworks. At the same time, he has fruitfully interacted uh, in, in various places, but prominent, prominently where I know him from Potsdam, with uh, experimental scientists and worked on the refinement of experimental methods, for example, in the ERP uh, business. Um, his specific contributions lie in the areas, in three areas, a computational psycholinguistics, and they are specifically on event-related brain potentials in language processing, nonlinear dynamical automata, that's what is one of his interests, and uh, Fock space models of parsing, of natural language parsing, um, um, and also pragmatic information theory. The second area is computational neuroscience, where he looks at symbolic dynamics of neurophysiological data um, and also on the emergence problem, emergence in complex neural networks and the neural field theories. Yeah, he didn't mention all of this in his talk, but that's what he's really uh, doing. And um, the third area is actually philosophy, and there he's interested in the epistemic foundations of symbolic dynamics and also the emergence of mental states and cognitive processes. Peter Van Graben has published in a wide variety of referee journals in his fields and contributed to various books, among which there's a chapter on the foundations of neurophysics in a recent um, textbook-like collection of lectures in supercomputational neuroscience. Yeah? Then uh, three of his important recent works, among the many works, and I can refer you to his excellent webpage where you can download most of the works and read more about the specifics. Um, three of the important recent ones are number one, titled Towards Dynamical System Models of Language Related Brain Potentials, published in Cognitive Neurodynamics 2008, together with Sabrina Gerd, Shravan, and Shravan Vazisht from Potsdam. The second one is uh, Pragmatic Information in Dynamic Semantics, published in Mind and Matter 2006. And the third one is Contextual Emergence of Mental States from Neurodynamics, published in the journal Chaos and Complexity Letters 2007, together with Harald Atmanspacher from Freiburg. Freiburg. Freiburg yes. um, the first work, um, so Dynamical System Model of Language Related Brain Potentials, presents two different nonlinear dynamical language processors where ERP effects, the N400 and the P600, are adequately reflected in this by a functionally and causally different regions in phase space, so in a physical construct. Um, an important ingredient are Smolensky's tensor product representations for syntactic phrase structure grammars. Um, the second paper about the pragmatic information in dynamic semantics develops an argument in favor of the applicability of Shannon and Weaver's famous uh, mathematical theory of communication to the semantic and pragmatic levels. Among other things, many other things, but among other things, von Weizsäcker's theory of pragmatic information is reconstructed there in terms of dynamic semantics, the modern dynamic semantics. This allows the derivation 
of Barhiller and Carnap's theory of semantic information and is compatible with decision theoretic measures of relevance, something that is, relates to what Tony Benz uh, talked about. <clears throat> and the third paper, um, uh, Contextual Emergence of Mental States from Neurodynamics, develops stability criteria for well-defined, so-called well-defined mental states as a tool for probing neural correlates of consciousness. Yeah, that I just mentioned. Uh, the definition of macroscopic neural states and the symbol of grounding problem. So uh, very yeah, like heavy, heavy guns in, in this issue, in this area. In particular, the compatibility of mental states is linked to partitioning properties of the neural uh, phase space. So, and um, this just skims the surface of what he's dealing with. I think he's a worthy um, prize winner of this year, and um, we congratulate him. Ja, ja, ja. 